A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. So there's one second left and done. Okay, so that was my coffee just now. We had another black strap coffee. So basically I just went and mined. You can actually see I'm all the way over here and our base is all the way over there. So I'm actually thinking of either making this wider or just seeing if I can't actually try and make myself like a tunnel all the way to the desert over there. It's going to be super long. It's going to be super dangerous. Um, It's going to be super annoying. Um, I wonder if I go into the hill over here and then turn. Because then there's less likely a chance of the zombies actually coming for us. But yeah, guys, there's so much iron over here. Look at this. I've actually been digging a little bit of iron over here, some um, lead and stuff. We don't have much on us because I already dropped some stuff off. Like, that's how much we've been getting. I had to go and drop some stuff off just now. And as you can see, this is a super long run. So most of the black strap coffee that I was using is now gone. Um, also, we only needed 12 steel to be able to get ourselves that uh, crossbow. But I had to use 3 steel again because I need to make 3 boxes, 3 T8 boxes. So at the moment, the T8 boxes are super, super, super expensive. If there's one tip I can actually give you guys is from early, early game, if you get a steal as a reward, uh, not a steal, if you get steal as a reward from a trader, take it. Because you're going to need it for boxes, you're going to need it for um, just being able to get yourself weapons and stuff. Yeah, you're just going to need it. Um, hello, doggy. Let's see how high that dog can go. Okay, it seems it's too fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Speedy Gonzalez, hello. Man, he moves erratically. I can't even see where he's going. I'm trying to shoot him before he moves, but he's so fast. There you go. But yeah, just make sure you get as much steel as possible because now, once again, I need steel. I used up all my steel because look at this. I need to rename this to just stone. Stone over there. Iron over here. Other resources like halite and limestone, sulfur, tree sap, wolf from mites, and the other thing I think we got from like a loot bag. That goes over there. We have some... All our building supplies. So building blocks, forge stuff. Stuff we can repair the ward base with. Uh, cement, cobble, all that I put over here. We need to make more mortar. But I need so much more water. The nice thing about food being able to spoil in this, in the single player. When the drinks spoil... I should actually take them out over there. When the drinks spoil, they turn into murky water. So on the server, we don't have that. On the server, it's a little bit harder to getting that stuff. I also want to see if I can't use my forges over here to make more cement. Just stone. Yeah, I have so much stone, I could just smelt it down over here. It's a shame I can't fix the places, but uh, stairs for it. You can't place anything down, but the zombies can destroy everything. So getting in and out of here is getting worse and worse and worse. I think when we do Ultra Infested Tier 5, our game stage inside that Ultra Infested shoots up. So we need to really pay attention to our surroundings now because any nemesis zombie can come in into fear like that skyscraper nemesis previously or earlier. This bow is so powerful I don't have to adjust my aim. Like usually I aim where the zombie's gonna be. I predict and then I just shoot but this uh, bow fires the arrow so fast I don't have to do that. Clear the hyper infested. I thought it was called ultra. Now I want to test this. My game stage is 347. I was right. The quest ups your game stage. That's why we can have uh, Nemesis zombies and stuff walking around because our game stage is super, super high. I want to make sure there's no vultures and bosses and stuff up here. I have to be careful if a Nemesis zombie sees... Oh, there's another one. Skyscraper. It's because my game stage is so super high that he's here now. I'm hoping he stays over there and doesn't come closer. I want to see what his name is, but I don't want to get close enough to actually read his name. Feral Big Mom. Dead. Look at all those red dots. If I can just... This is a clever way of doing it. This might be boring to some, like, oh, wow, you're cheesing it. But guys, come on. Look at the dude waiting over there for us to make a mistake. I have to clear this place fast enough so we don't have to worry about that, ge that, that guy getting in the way. Blech. Tongue tied. But just because this POI is skyrocketing our game stage, we have to be careful of Nemesis zombies on the outside. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other dots. Something over there. 
And he might not be the only one. I need to be careful. Now, some of these dots are moving. Yeah, I'm paying so much attention to him that there might be another one that's going to interfere. Don't move. Please don't move. At least I have the rad remover on. I can do some serious damage. I have to actually just hit them. Come on, stand still, stand still, stand still. I really don't want to deal with this nemesis dude right now. But at the same time, I do kind of want to face him and see how long it's going to take to kill him. I'm a sick, sick man. I love the danger. Okay, where the hell's the rest? I thought I might be able to sneak over here, but that's not going to work. Right, there's the next one. Most of these can be seen at an angle, but the angle is really, really weird. I think a lot of these are also going to be in the roof. This one over here, there's a red dot right by me. And I can't exactly see it. It's right underneath me over here. I can't see it. Oh, there you go. Is he still there? Seems like he walked away. Cool. I'm stealthing enough so he doesn't hear us right now. Okay, so those two over there are dead. Because I know this is super cheesy, but this is a hyper infested. It says ultra, but it's technically a hyper infested. That's just insane. I should be able to actually do this from the bottom though. It doesn't at the moment look so insane that it's impossible. I think when there's only a few dots left, we'll jump down and try it. See, sometimes the areas... He's dead. There's still nine areas left. I don't see that many areas on the map right now, so where are the rest of the areas? They're probably stuck inside the walls over there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, they're upstairs over there on the top. So to get these, I will definitely have to go downstairs, which means I have to be careful of that super tall dude. Unless, what if I just go into the wall of here? See, if I do this, I'm sneaky sneaking over here. Hello, male zombie. There's a dude to that side. At least we're strong enough to be able to do this. Imagine if we weren't strong enough to this. How long this would take. Yeah, come try and get to me. Don't fall down, don't fall down, don't fall down. Still eight areas left. Let's be careful. Oh, you can see them in the rafters over here. There's a cop right there. Can I kill him? Nope. I have to get up on a little bit of an angle. Oh, there's another cop right there. And he is a what? Feral cop. So I wouldn't be able to kill him one shot. Okay, I have to make a little bit of space right now. If I don't hit him in the head properly, he's going to explode and cause fire. Oh, he's going to call in more of his friends, and that's going to be a really, really bad thing for us. I have a feeling some of these will only spawn in when we're done with this place. Okay, she's feral, but he's more dangerous. Come on. I, w I didn't want to shoot her first, just in case. But it seems she's weak enough to kill first. I have a feeling as soon as I go uh, down into this room, I'm going to get attacked. Or they're all of a sudden going to spawn in. And still. Fall down, please. See, I'm trying to pick my quests as, as well as possible. Because I know how difficult this is going to get. I'm not going to make the same mistake we did with the tier 2s. Because of that, I was overconfident and I almost died. Seven places left. Damn. I thought I'm almost done. Can I get down there? Also have to make sure that I can see if there's anyone left on the floor down here. It's probably going to be in the dressing rooms and stuff over there that they left. But now though, I'm just going to make sure I play this as clever as possible. Okay, these ones are weak ones. Feral. And yo, he's faster so we'll get him first. And then this... That was just in case the one tried to run away that we did the one uh, before the other one. 
Okay, so I'm just making sure we clear the rock this over here. There's six areas left, which means the back will definitely be dangerous. There might be a zombie over there. I think the whole floor at least is now clear. So I'm also, I think while I'm up here, I should probably grab the resources. Just be careful that I don't grab a resource and open a path for a zombie to me. Ooh, vehicle book. Nice. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm going to go this way still. The loot does not respawn, so I can actually move underneath over here. A little bit easier breaking that block. These cross beams are really hard to navigate. Super dangerous as well because you can easily fall down. I don't know if that's a wandering horde outside or just a random zombie. We have to be careful. Okay, that was a mistake. I broke through over here. Please don't climb each other. Sometimes they're clever enough to actually stand on each other's heads. I need to be careful of that. Okay, five areas left. I think I'm being clever right now, but just now I accidentally mess up, so I need to be careful. I think there's still a little bit left over here in the bathroom section. And then we have to get around the corner over here to this section. After this, I need to make sure I go around and just pick up all my frames again. There's definitely going to be some enemies. You can actually see the mutator over there. There's going to be some enemies on this side of here, so I need to be really careful right now not to make too much noise. Oh crap, right next to me. Ooh, that could have been bad. That could have been... Oh, he smacked my block going down. I'll make sure that mutator dude doesn't wake up. But I do need my arrows back, actually, please. The sooner I can clear this place, the sooner I can actually loot those over there. And then him. Oh, look at all those dots. He's definitely going to start to fire if I don't kill him fast enough. He's going to run at me. Ooh, that was close. He'll definitely run at me and do some serious, serious damage. There's definitely a wandering ward outside, I think. There's too much noise outside right now for it to just be normal zombies. Hello, ferals and radiators and stuff. I might need to start shooting over here. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, no, no. Where are you guys going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on, stay here. Oh, okay. I need to be careful. I don't destroy that block underneath me. But now I don't know if it's a wandering horde coming through. Oh. Oh, he's actually able to make that jump. That's really dangerous. He almost made it. Oh, 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 oh. Give me my arrows back. Thank you. There's definitely zombies outside. So yeah, I need to be careful. Now they're helping each other break through from a different side. And there's a big dude over there. Uh, over there. Three areas left. The moment we get to the final stash over there, there's going to be more zombies pulling out the roof. I love it when they get stuck in buildings, but uh, oh, in blocks. But sometimes they're clever enough to actually move around like that. Okay, now all we need to do is destroy this and quickly set this fire out. I think at least the fire extinguisher should be able to reach. Okay, I'm gonna have to jump down. I can't afford to get low, man. If I get too close to the fire right now, I'm gonna have to jump down to put it out. Okay, I should be able to jump up and out of here, so I'm going to make these zombies spawn in. It's just crawlers though, it seems. Yep, just crawlers. So the only areas left right now are the toilets. The only problem is there's so many ferals and stuff around us. There's definitely a wandering horde doing damage to the building. I haven't made too much noise, so the fact that there's so much noise going on outside is bad. Okay, I think I should probably just do this. I have a way to get out. My arrow's back. Oh, there's a red dot on that side. It should be fine. There's an airdrop as well. Hello. Oh, yep. The ferals are the wandering one made it through. Man, I wish I had that crossbow repeater. Imagine the Nemesis zombie also comes just because of the game stage right now. I 
That red dot's still over that side. Nice. I'm gonna make sure I get my arrows back because I've wasted so much right now. We have a lot, so I don't have to worry too much about wasting. But at the same time, you don't want to waste too much of your stuff. That is locked, unlocked. Okay, so yeah, this is another super infested. We have to make sure we have the right glasses on. And then we have to make sure we put the others back on before we go to look through the trader. So we can get those double rewards. The moment we've done our looting over here, we have to go. Unfortunately, this is not tier 5 loot. It has to be, I think, a tier 5 building to have tier 5 loot. But it is a tier 5 quest. So that's why it has the super cash over here. We just have to cross our thumbs and hope that we actually... Cross your fingers, hold your thumb, whatever you say in your country. And we have to make sure that we get that helmet. I just need the helmet right now. Please, please, hazmat mask. Eh. I mean, ammo. Don't get me wrong, ammo. Especially the fact that there's so much 762 and that's my main uh, ammo right now. But I don't need ammo. What I really, really, really need right now is some um, hazmat pieces. Oh, hello. Somebody just told me, hit that. Just try, who knows. Okay, so there's still two areas left. I'm guessing that a red dot over there is one of them. Let me just pick these up. See, since there's a hole over here, we can easily get out should we get overrun right now. So I'm going to go to that last section where I think the last section is. Although... How do I know for sure that's the last section? No, there's still... No, there's only one area left, yeah. So where the red dot is, that's the last area. I swear, if a nemesis zombie now interferes... Oh... I still have to come loot all of the stations and stuff over here. Obviously, you don't want to be too encumbered when fighting this last place, so you have to be careful. Yep, it's definitely the bathrooms. Come on. one area left. Oh, that's a few dots. That's just not just one dot. That's a few dots over there. I need them to... Come on, make a little bit of a hole. I could easily shoot now, but the moment I shoot, we won't be able to get out of here properly. Yeah, she's so short. Come on, yes, 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 I killed her. Oh, wow, these radiators give you a lot of XP. Normal zombies give you like a few hundred XP. These radiators give you so much. Okay, there might actually be some loot in the roof as well. And this one bag. The reason I said that just now is uh, usually when there's a hole like this and there's zombies, they're protecting something. Sometimes there's weapon bags. Uh, just always check. Sometimes there's weapon bags, sometimes it's just crap, but uh, most of the times you want to check. Okay, so now the problem is we have to go drop some stuff on our vehicle. Because we're too full. There's nothing we can grab over here. Um, we can scrap this one. Yeah, we have to see if we can't just at least loot the toilets. Because we do need murky water. That's the one thing I definitely, definitely have to loot every time. No matter the tier or the difficulty of the POI. We need drinks. Okay, so let's just really drop this stuff off and then see if I can loot this whole place. Be careful though. A nemesis zombie might still be here. Although now that the quest is done, my game stage is low again. Where's the button? There's supposed to be a button that... But I'm not seeing any button over here. Oh! Don't need a button, it's already unlocked, John. Okay, I have to be careful. Some of these guys might still be feral. For some reason, they're not noticing us over here, so that's cool. I say as they notice us. See, I wonder if I should even loot this place right now. I know I need the stuff inside, but we need to be unencumbered when we go for that airdrop. Let me just see if there's any boxes that I haven't looted yet. For example, over here at the back. If there's something good in the boxes, then fine. But the other stuff, I wonder if I should even take it. I know there's a chance it's like drinks and stuff that we really, really need right now. 
mechanical parts, electrical parts. Although we got all of the trolleys at the uh, Tesco. And because of all those trolleys, we actually got lucky with a ton of mechanical parts. See, this over here is only going to give us what? If it's mechanical parts, we have enough. Remote. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And the looting is also super slow. Nah, it's not worth it. I want to get to the section now with these. I need the drinks. From now on, like I said, if I get any uh, drinks that can spoil, I'm actually just going to go and put them in a block, uh, box that they can spoil. We need as much murky water as possible, so we have to make sure all of these uh, drinks spoil. Okay. We are slightly encumbered, so I'll drop the remote. I'll use that. This one over here. Scrap for some parts. Oh, we had some parts. Nice. As I did, I was like, ooh, should I have done that? Okay, we have one item encumbered right now, which isn't too bad. So I'm just going to go straight towards that drop over there. I wonder why the dude just... Is it just to scare you that they spawn in? Or will they come for you if you actually attack them? I, I'm guessing they will attack you. But before the quest is done, all of a sudden they just disappear. Okay, so make sure a gun is reloaded. Make sure a bow is reloaded. First see if there's any ferals. There's way more spawning all of a sudden. Nice, none of them are feral. If they're not feral, we can focus on getting our bow skill up. And we can get a nice and close with them as well. Like this. If you zoom in, it actually uses up your stamina. Like that, if you zoom in. But if you can get close enough, you don't have to worry about the... Oh, I was about to say, you don't have to worry about the heads moving. But these heads still moved. That does not work, Sean. One more. Okay, at least the airdrops are doable. Imagine if the airdrops were just as difficult as like the tier 5 infesteds and hyper infesteds and stuff. But yeah, I wonder... That's... Uh, top right, it says hyper infested. But when you accept it, it says ultra infested. So I wonder what's the right terminology. Blades, MREs, food, nice. I'm getting so many vehicle books that by the time we actually have a vehicle, or the, the tool for the vehicles, we'll be able to make any vehicle of our choosing. Okay, so let's see what you have for us. Ple oh, the right glasses. Put the right glasses on. Hmm. Claw hammer. <laughs> the claw hammer is actually a really good melee weapon. I've seen that on my server. Although for now, let's go for pistol and pistol ammo. Do you have any jobs? Tier 5 ultra. Shady swine. Which is shady swine? Is that a... a... You have the bright park again. Mm, I'm so tempted to go for this one because it's so easily doable. Small concrete factory. In, this is just an infested clay. I want to go for ultras. So let's go for shady swine. You, can, you're the man. you think you can handle it? I don't know because the nemesis zombies keep spawning. I might actually fail one on purpose once just to be able to fight the nemesis zombies that spawn. Although, you know how much ammo you're going to waste just attacking those. It's not worth it. Oh, okay, so this is Shady Swine. Yeah, there's going to be some pigs attacking us over there. And because it's an ultra infested, there might be way more pigs after this. Super infested usually has like two pigs. I'm just going to get the food. But since this is so wide open and it's wood, we have to be really, really careful right now. Ooh, my stamina is getting way better though. I wonder if I... No, but there's no way to make yourself drinks to spoil that easily. I could make hops with our normal water and then have murky water from that spoiling. Okay, so our game stage is 172. The moment I start this, we might actually get a boss. I actually have two stacks of ammo just in case. Game stage 350. I'll try and stealth this as much as possible, but there's only so much stealth you can do with a small building. <gasps> oh, there's a nemesis close by. How do I know? Because I'm I'm heating up right now. I'm hoping the nemesis isn't inside this place.
We have to be careful. There's a nemesis. Remember, the nemesis zombies have a massive reach to them. So you think you're safe and all of a sudden smack you from far away. I'm over I'm, I'm overheating right now because of that bloody nemesis. Shoot him once. Shoot him twice. Bye-bye. Where is this nemesis? He's just close to the building and that's enough to actually set me on light. As long as he's not inside, but I think he's just... Oh, please don't tell me he's inside. To fight a nemesis right now is basically going to be impossible inside a small confine like this. Around the corner. What are you? What are you? What are you? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. I'm overheating, man. It's so hot. So hot. I wonder if this nemesis zombie will be clever enough. I should probably take down that staircase. Let me just break this over here quickly. If the nemesis... Oh, there he is. That red dude. He's the one giving us all these bad effects right now. Because of him, I'm getting so hot, I'm, I'm overheating. And if you attack him also, he makes this massive roaring sound. Do we have any water on us? No, damn it, I'll have to do this fast. Without water, we'll overheat too fast. And over there is fake. Those dots are downstairs. He's feral? No, he's not. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Come on, you can do it, John. Oh, hello. What the hell? Are you able to shoot his head? At least it seems like the nemesis zombie is starting to move away. Because we're not overheating as much. What was that just now? Rifles. Easy my arrows back. Okay, these guys have so much HP, if I can sneak them, that'd be awesome. Okay, now it's going to get dangerous. Very small room down here. I need to basically be able to block that off over there. Aunt. Damn. As you guys can see, this is super stressful. <laughs> they might be able to break through the wood to the left, but if I can just get one at a time, one or two at a time. Reload, 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 reload. Reload, 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 reload before the nemesis zombie comes. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Okay, now at least... Uh, he's not radiated, so I don't have to worry about him. But this dude is. Come on, come on, come on. I have to go all the way on the roof of here again. Hey, what? Where are you? I have to stop this dude from healing himself by shooting him at least once or twice. have to be so careful. The fact that they can reach you so far with their effects is just insane. I'm also not going to even loot this whole place. I'm just going to make sure I get the final stash and get out.
There's going to be so many zombies over here. The moment I got close, I got so much lag. Some zombies above us. I only have so many arrows left. Nine arrows. Okay, be careful. Now the healing is gone. Be careful of the boss zombie. Come on, damn it. Crap. No, 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 no. Please, no, please, no, please, no, please don't die. Why are there so many pigs? Damn it. She's the only one left. And I, okay, I, I think if I climb this over here, she might come to me. No, they're all actually part of this place. I'm going to have to shoot. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the loot over here. She's still downstairs. The moment I shoot, the Nemesis zombie is going to come. So let's redo really this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. I can't believe I'm out of arrows right now. That's the biggest problem right now. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? More pigs. If that nemesis zombie attacks right now, at least we're not getting uh, heated up right now, so he shouldn't be close. At least we have the anti-rad mod on this gun, so I can use it as a weapon. But yeah, if that nemesis zombie attacks right now, we're going to have to uh, fight her, just kill her quickly, and move on. I think there's a loot bag still that side that I want to loot. And then this lady that I need to kill over here. Okay, done. So the Nemesis zombie should be done. He's gone. You never know though, he might actually come for revenge. Come on, come on, come on, I need to go hand this in. Oh, the Nemesis zombie's effect still here. I'm gonna run. The amount of fog we're getting right now is just insane. Make sure we have the right glasses on. Well earned. How are you? Awesome. Steel, that's what I wanted. And then robotic sledge, range. Let's go for the sledge. We have a ton of mods already, so we don't have to worry about that. And range we have as well. Okay, so now we just have some... I think we should wait until the morning for the rest. Yeah, let's... I'm gonna go... Sorry about that, my voice is just getting cracked up again. But yeah, I'm gonna go mining for the night time, and in the morning we can come get, get another quest. The more open the POI, the better. At the moment, the more closed off it is, the harder it gets, because there's just... The, the, the nemesis zombie and the boss zombies can surprise you because of the small rooms. But you guys, if you guys like this episode, did you like to see with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback? What do you guys think about these ultra hyper infested quests in your comments down below? And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst insanity. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, gain access to a private members only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.